Is it time to say goodbye to WhatsApp? Well, recently Zoho launched Aratai, a simple security-focused instant messaging app. Similar to WhatsApp, you can send messages, media, documents, make audio and video calls, as well as create channels and share stories. Also, for businesses, you can connect and share content with large audiences using this WhatsApp alternative. So today, my focus is to share how to use Aratai for both personal and business use. All right, with that covered, let's go ahead and dive into this tutorial. Okay, so before we dive into the Aratai app, let's break down exactly what Aratai is. Well, Aratai is India's first privacy-focused messaging platform. First launched in 2021, recently they released huge updates to the platform, making Aratai a complete WhatsApp alternative that focuses on better communication. Not just for personal calls, chats and connection, but for business communication and collaboration. Think of Aratai as a combination of WhatsApp, Slack, Instagram and Google Meet. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by this shortly. Aratai is developed by the team at Zoho and is free to install on Android and iOS. You can also access Aratai across multiple devices similar to WhatsApp. You'll find after watching this Aratai tutorial that there are no ads on this platform, again making Aratai a strong competitor against WhatsApp, not just in India but globally. Alright, now that we better understand Aratai, let's dive into my phone and launch into the Aratai app. Okay, so first go ahead and install the Aratai mobile app on Android or iOS you'll see that this app has over 10 million downloads. Here you can see the app on my phone. And as you can see, I've already gone ahead and set up my account. If you're completely new to Aratai, you'll be asked to set up your account. Simply add your name, profile picture, and your phone number. And then you'll be taken inside your account. Okay, let's navigate through this app so you can use it for both personal and business use. Now down here, I can see all my messages and groups that I'm part of. For example, you can see I have all selected. Let's navigate over to direct. And this is where we can send direct messages to other Aratai users. For example, I'm going to select Emma Garrett. And this is the chat interface, again, similar to WhatsApp. In the top right hand corner, I can search for specific messages within this chat, as well as start a video call or a phone call. If we navigate down to the bottom, we can simply start typing a message and then hit send. Now, if I click this plus icon, we can attach images, add files, scan something to send, share our location, as well as share contacts. Let's close out of this and then click here. Here we can simply share stickers as well as search for specific stickers. We can also share GIFs and if we navigate back to stickers, we can also create custom stickers to send to our contacts. Okay, let's click out of this, click on keyboard and we can also add voice notes if we like by simply holding this icon here and sharing a voice note. Again, you'll notice similarities to WhatsApp. Okay, let's jump back into our direct chats and click on this message icon. And here we can do a few things. We can create a new group. This could be a specific group of contacts. Then we have new channel. Think of a channel as a large community. For example, maybe you want to build a following around a brand, a business, or a topic. Then other users on Aratai can explore and find your channel and follow your content. For example, if we come down and click on explore channels, here we can see popular channels. If we navigate down and find one we like the look of, Health is Wealth, and click here, that's going to add us to this channel that has over 40,000 subscribers. We can also select specific categories, let's head back, or we can search for the specific channel that we're after. Okay, let's navigate back and click on Groups. Here you can see I have one group that I've created and added people to. Again, you have similar elements to the direct chat interface. You can search this group for specific messages or content, start a group video call, and then we have the same chat options down below. Let's head back and then click on all. And remember, we joined this channel here. You can mute the channel if you like, and you can view all channel content. With this content that you see in your channel, you can leave emojis, for example, and you can see all the emoji engagement under each post. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's head back and navigate up to these three dots. And let's first click on channels. Here you can see all your channels or you can create a new channel. For example, I created this Digital Marketing Hacks channel yesterday that only has one subscriber. If I click back and click add, I can simply create a new channel here, add a channel title, channel description, and choose the category over here. Again, this is ideal if you run a business and you want to create a specific channel for customers, users, or your audience. That way you can keep your audience in the loop with new updates and posts. This is powerful for communicating updates with a large audience. Okay, let's head back and back again. 
Hey guys, just quickly, did you know that over 90% of you that enjoy our free educational content have not yet subscribed? It would mean a lot to me if you drop a comment or hit subscribe if you love what I'm creating. This helps us grow the channel and motivates me to create bigger and more impactful tutorials for you to consume for free. Okay, so with that happy note, thank you in advance, and let's get back to the video. Now, if we click on these three dots again and click on broadcasts, this is where you can create broadcasts, which are essentially bulk messages to your contacts. This is more personalized than channels. And when you create and send a broadcast, that will send a message and then they can reply and engage with you. Think of this as an email marketing broadcast, but for messages. Let's go ahead and create one. I only have two contacts at the moment. Under recipients, you can see that Aratai allows you to broadcast to up to 500 recipients. I've just selected two out of the 500 limit. Let's click next and add a broadcast name. Again, this is a powerful feature for small businesses, those that want to send bulk direct messages, communicating updates, discounts, or new product releases. For example, let's say I run a local cafe. I'm going to add the broadcast name, 50% off all items every Friday. Now this broadcast name is for internal use only. So this is the broadcast I want to use every Friday to share a discount. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's click update and that's going to create the broadcast. Now you can see I've only got two recipients. We can simply add more recipients if we like. And those recipients cannot see this broadcast yet. However, now I'm ready to send a broadcast. Hey, get 50% off all items today after 5 p.m. I can click here and add an image if I like, as well as a file, add location or share a contact. Or if I click here, I can add a sticker or a gift. Okay, let's send this. And as you can see, that broadcast has been sent. Now, if I navigate back under all, you can see this broadcast here. And this is the broadcast I can use to send this discount on every Friday. I hope that makes sense. You could create a more generic broadcast if you wanted to called discounts. And this broadcast you'd use to send all discounts related to your business to your recipients. Okay, let's jump back. And you can see if I navigate down here, Emma was one of those recipients, so she got this message from the broadcast. You can see the broadcast symbol here. And again, if I click on Cindio, this individual also got this broadcast. And then they can reply directly to me if they want more information or anything else. Okay, so that's how you can bulk send messages using broadcasts. Now under all chats, if I navigate down here, you can see I have a broadcast that I created and I can send a broadcast out using this broadcast at any time. Below that, I have a channel that I've subscribed to. I then have a contact, Emma Garrett, then a group that I created, as well as another individual, and then a channel I created. So all chats you can find here. If I click this filter icon, you can see all your unread messages. Okay, let's head back. And now let's jump over to the far left hand side. Here you'll find stories. Similar to WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook, you can create stories. Simply add an image or write a new story. And you have these different editing options colors and more. I'm going to click share and you can see my story has been added up here. Your stories will last 24 hours. You can see the views that you've had. You can also click these three dots and delete the story and then create a new story if you like. Now let's navigate across to meetings. As I mentioned, Aratai has a component of Google Meet and other meeting and booking platforms. For example, you can instantly create a new meeting. You can choose to enable the microphone, enable the camera, and then start meeting. Let's close out of that. If we click on join, simply add the meeting ID that you've been shared. And then you can also schedule. I could schedule a personal or business meeting. For example, team, team catch up, add the date. Let's say this Friday, the time. You can add the time here. Choose the duration here, 45 minutes. Does this meeting repeat? Let's say this is a weekly meeting that happens every Friday. So I've added weekly. You can add a co-host if you like. M is my administrator, so I'm going to add her. And then down here, we can add participants. I'm just going to add this contact for now. If we navigate down further, we have a password. This is the meeting ID. We can choose to record the meeting. We can add a agenda. This is optional. I'm going to add done. Then we have more options. We can set a group. This is for discussions related to this meeting. And we can play around with the different permissions. Waiting room on for participants. Only the host can accept users into the meeting. Then other options down here. Okay, let's close out of this and simply hit schedule meeting. Under upcoming, you can see we have this one meeting here scheduled. As you can see, it's a very user-friendly interface that anyone can use. If we navigate up to the three dots, we can see all recordings and click on settings and configure meeting settings. Let's close out of this. 
you can see how powerful this app is for both personal and business use. Let's navigate across. We have chat again. Next to that, we can call. If I click on this call option, we can see all our frequently contacted contacts. We can also search for contacts and add new contacts into Artai. With each of the contacts, we can video call or voice call. Let's close out of that and then navigate over to settings. Now, if I select mentions, here you can see all mentions. These are direct messages as well as group messages that people have mentioned you in. Below that, we have pocket. This is essentially a personal storage space. You can save messages, items, add notes, and more. And you can access this across all your different devices. We can see starred messages, contacts, devices, and sessions. If I click here, you can link a device, for example, your laptop, computer, or even the TV application. Again, allowing you to use Aratai across devices. Below this, we have accounts, chat, calls, and meetings. Essentially, you can set up your communication the way that you like in terms of settings. Let's navigate down. We can change the language, invite friends, and more. However, that is how you can navigate through and use Aratai for both personal and business use. If you're interested in learning more about other Zoho tools and apps that they have developed, I will add dedicated tutorials up above and down below in the description for you to check out. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Artai tutorial showing you how you can use this WhatsApp alternative. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.